Hello everyone! It's only my second day in Berlin and surprisingly I don't have jet lag. So I woke up and visited the Berlin Cathedral, the Holocaust Memorial, and more. Let's check it out! Berlin Dome. And we're gonna go inside. This is one of the main landmarks in Berlin and it houses the city's most important Protestant church. So we got our tickets, but we can't enter the dome because we need to cover our shoulders. We didn't know that. Um, so we're gonna head over to a nearby uh, TK Maxx. We passed by it. We're gonna head over there and find something to cover our shoulders with. Yeah. This is something new that I learned and I'm glad I did. The cathedral is a place of worship, so it's important to dress appropriately. So no short skirts or anything revealing. Finally walked back to the entrance and you can see that I still have my price tag on. I finally got to see the inside of the cathedral and it is beautiful. Look at that. It has elaborate decorative designs and gold features and statues. The interior is especially worth seeing. You can also walk up the dome for a panoramic view of Berlin, but be warned there's 270 steps and your legs will burn, unless you work out daily, unlike me. And this took us about 10 minutes. <laughs> How many steps did we? I think 286. Really <laughs> sorry. Oh my god. It's about 50 meters high up, and you get this beautiful view. So, this is the castle. Oh, wow. So we just walked up here, looked at the view, and then now we're going down. Time to go down! Right across the cathedral is the Berlin Palace, and this was the home to former Prussian kings and German emperors. This is the view of the palace from the top of the cathedral, and you can see on the left-hand side there's this modern, sleek-looking building. That's the Humboldt Forum, which is a museum. They kept the front, uh, yeah. But this used to be a palace, and the Brandenburg uh, gate, if you remember, there are horses that's looking towards something. It's looking towards this castle. Next, we went to the Holocaust Memorial. There's 2,711 concrete slabs of different heights, covering 19,000 square meters. This memorial is not about what is being seen, but instead what is being felt by the viewer. There are many interpretations of this memorial, and for me, it felt like a maze. I had a feeling of disorientation, confusion, and just very lost as the slabs got higher. And perhaps this was a feeling of a Jew when they started to realize that they're gonna lose the life that they once lived. There is an information center underground for more about the history. Finally, we stopped by Checkpoint Charlie, and this was the best known Berlin Wall crossing point between East and West Berlin during the Cold War. Only foreigners were allowed to cross through it, and this is just the replica version of the guardhouse.
And that was the end of my second day in Berlin, but wait, there's more to come.